Hello all and welcome back to Tony Hawk's Undergrounds. Last time we escaped from some drug dealers in New Jersey and then we came all the way to some corner part of Manhattan. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I know last time uh, in the last video I said I would do all the goals in the original one in New Jersey and I did not, I forgot. Oh well, I'm sure I'll do some roundup at the end of this where I do all the goals I didn't do. but. For now, we're in Manhattan. Let's skate around, do some goals, impress Peralta, get sponsored. That's basically our goal in life. I think there's one here. No, there's one here later. Ooh. See our special goal back? Let's talk to this guy. This is a good goal. Let's stand awkwardly. I want a hot dog, buddy. Or, or nut. <laughs> I just want to sell my nuts, but the other vendors, they're bullying me into sharing my profits. That's not how that works. Take out the other vendors and I'll give you free nuts for life. That sounds disturbing. So, first of all, this guy wants us to destroy other people's business and potentially harm them or even kill them by running over their businesses with his car. And then never mind what will happen after that, like ruining their family because they don't have money, because they don't have... It's... This is a good idea. And cars can do this in real life, by the way. They can do that. That's what happens when you drive. So we just killed that guy, but nobody cares. I killed that guy, he's dead. I'm doing really bad at the simple driving mission. There we go. Alright, this guy's finished. And he's dead. Oh, he's fairly fine. He doesn't even care. He just got pushed outside a little. Where's this guy's nuts? What? Why do you have a nut vendor right in an alley? That sounds like the dumb place to put it. I don't know. I've never been to New York, so maybe it's a great place. There we go. That was easy. So I didn't really talk about it last time. I said this was one of my top five favorite games. And well, the reason for that, basically, it's honestly a good game, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. I just broke my face. That's great. One of the reasons why I like this game so much is because of probably the antagonist. Honestly, I think this game has one of the best antagonists in games ever. We'll get more into that later when we see more of it. But for now, let's talk to the foreman. Nothing compared to working construction. Okay, entertain us by throwing down a big score. If you want. So this is fun because we don't really have much of an area and we gotta do it in front of them. But it's pretty easy. You just mess up completely right at the end. You can just basically manual, not like this. Oh, I broke my leg. Or his knee. Whatever. Just manual, do a bunch of tricks. And stop messing up. And basically you'll get a huge score. Like that. So if you notice there, you can actually run out of a combo and your combo will still keep going. Even if you're like this. You can still combo, it'll still count, even if you're just walking. It's a good way to get combos up. We almost got this. That guy almost ran us over, but he doesn't really care. I'm just gonna taunt him. There you go. He's not care at all. And we're done. They don't even have anything to say. They're just already back to their work. They don't care anymore. Oh, here, let's do this guy. It's Chad Muscle. We just saw him. 
Get special on this QP and do a He doesn't even seem to remember us. Oops, I skipped that, whatever. Just gonna show it to wire. We have to do something that would risk our entire life because Chad Muska told us to. And I messed up. And we're fine. And we're not fine. Never mind. Alright, I messed this up. So when you fail, you can just press start and re- Alright, so let's try this again. There we go. So, this is not safe. At all. See? This is impossible. I don't know if we have to do this for the whole thing. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, okay, I failed. I mean, you know what? Screw you, Chad Musk. I don't even care anymore. This ain't Joyzy, kid. Let's see your tech skills. Complete the grind combos by holding grind down in between the gap and the benches. Tapping a different direction before you hit the next bench will change your grind. Whoa, oh god. <laughs> that was extremely easy. Alright, so after all that, we're still, I don't even know what we're doing, I guess we're getting some sick stuff for Peralta. I don't even know where any of the goals are. There's one, let's do it. Alright, welcome to the famous Pyramid Ledges. Let's rip them up. Another score only 25,000 points, that's extremely easy. We already finished. Good job, but can you do it at 78 water? I don't think I can. Look, it's now twice as many points. The waterfront is pretty work these days, but you can still find some skatable benches and rails. Can you? Oh. That didn't go so well. Or you can just do manual flip tricks. Shouldn't be skating this memorial, but the marble is too good to pass up. Yeah, screw dead people. See, I'm one of them now. Ow, my ankle. And yet we can just keep go skateboarding again, even though our ankle's broken. I'm doing way too complex tricks right now. All I need to do is that, and we're good. Last but not least, Banks are the heart of the New York skate scene. Score big here and you're done. Why was not done earlier? That's safe. Yo, let's go check out the skaters down at the Brooklyn Banks. Why not? That's where I just was. Those guys have a camera. Maybe they'll let us use it to make our sponsor me video for Peralta. You look so ugly, by the way. Look at that guy's mouth. Ew. Take your soggy mob flips back to Jersey, tweakers. Hey, let's just go skate. If we tear up your favorite spots, you guys help film us? Alright, so after that, we literally achieved nothing, but somehow we found the guy with the camera. That's... Why if we didn't just take the camera in the first place? I don't know. And I messed up again. Yeah. Check out my buddy's sick line here in the banks. How are you making the cars glow up like that? You can't hit it in a combo. Oh, see, now I actually have to hit it in a combo. This, these guys are smarter than the New Jersey ones. This is a little annoying, though, that you have to go all the way back. But nothing we can't handle. We are... Uh, Amateur skateboarder from New Jersey, so we're fine.
But as you can see, the game does get harder. As now, you have to actually do everything in a combo. Oh, I was right there. At least they restart the tide. And I think I got it this time. Yeah, there we go. But the game gets much harder like that. Later levels you have to do more ridiculous combos. Nothing we can't handle though. And we're dead. Oh, there's another one. Well, that makes it easier. They're all right here. Dude, you gotta help me ditch this beater. Ride's faulty, and I need the insurance money to score some new kicks. You're getting rid of a car to get shoes. Should be easy. Just maintain speed, and this junk will overheat and catch fire. Then ditch it in the river. I see no thing wrong with this. I literally can't die. Like, it's good. So for this though, you want to stay somewhat near the river, don't drive in the back because once they overheat you're on a time limit to get back up here. Like that. And we'll just go in with the car for some reason. I'll help you get some killer footage for Stacy. Rumor has it the inside of this building has some sick terrain. The guards are tough, but I heard they like hot steaming nuts. I would hear that. Get some nuts from the vendors and bring them back to the guards before they get cold. Okay. I'm amazed that people can get bribed for some nuts, but whatever. If that's how they do it, there are some bad security guards. But I guess I'd be too if I had to stand inside the door for hours on end. So I think I first played this game well back when it came out. I got it because back then my brother, now brother-in-law, were all into skateboarding. There still are, I'm not really into it. I just like this game that much. But we got it, we were all excited for it. Played it then, I had a lot of fun with it. And I just think it's a really good game. There's some nostalgia to that, obviously. I enjoyed back then, I'll enjoy it now. Steven even holds up now. But, yeah. I just wanted to play it again, because it's one of my favorite games, as I said. There's just a lot you can do. Drive in it, get up your sword. There's more stuff I want to show us later. Like, you can build your own park. It's a really good game. This place is sick. We just go with the guards. Now we can get in here anytime we want. Even if the guards change. Check this. You can create your own tricks. So that's a new thing, is that you can create your own tricks. It's actually kind of intensive. It's kind of cool. That sounds horrible. Let's actually not do it. But... For right now, we'll go do a nut buster. That sounds dumb. We need a ramp to do this. There's one. Let's do it. That was a flamingo. Whoops. I wish I was on the other level where the other thing is right next to it. There we go. That looked horrifying. With some work, I'm sure you can make that trick even better. So this brings up a creative trick. We're gonna do that later. No need to do it now. I'll probably show off all that later. For now, we have to go talk to this guy. Oh, Eric. I wonder who started it. Was it you? Thank god they put the ramp here. Otherwise I'd have to go all the way back. This is a little annoying though. How did that knock out? Do some more basic tricks. Not hard at all, but it looks cool at least. We gotta get this tape to Peralta. Yeah, let's do it. That's exactly what it looks like, by the way. 
Hey, man. I got the video you sent me. Wow. You got style. You are on the team, dude. You're definitely on the team. We gotta find a way to get you down to the Tampa Am contest. Tampa? That would be insane. We changed our shirt. But I have like three bucks to my name. Don't matter, man. I'll tell you what. You run some errands for me in New York, and I'll flow you my vintage bus for the trip. Now tell me what you want to ride, and I'll send you all the free gear you need for the event, dude. So now we can do free gear? Uh, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. I'll just do any skateboard. There's no stats like that when you change it. It's just all appearance. Uh, nope, I'm good. So now we got to go and do some favors, and we'll get to go to Tampa. I don't know how this guy has a bunch of friends, like shop dude here. Man, damn kids! I was supposed to have some new decks delivered to the sponsors by the start of the show, but some punk stole them. Were they drug dealers? Get them back in time. It'd really save our. Why do I have to get him back? All right, so let's try that again. This time, better. Not horrible like what that happened last time. This time I actually remember what I'm looking for. It's guys with skulls over the head. They're really just kind of skating all over the town. You just gotta look for the skulls and you'll find the decks. Skulls represent bad guys in this game. Because that's how it works. That's how it goes in real life too. See some of the skull over the head, they're a bad guy, don't trust them. Let's see, I already got two of them. Last time I didn't even have one at this point, and I keep getting run over. There's two of guys right there. This will be easy. Alright, he's going in there, that's not good. You get him though. Where did he go? Oh, he just pulled a fast one on us. I'm surprised I didn't steal that bailing, honestly. Are you kidding me? Did he really just do that? He did. These guys are better skaters than me. There we go. How come these guys aren't professional? Look at that. Alright, just one more left. We can do this. Let's see. Is that guy one? Nope. It can be a little hard to see. The skull doesn't always appear at first. There he is. I think, yeah. It might be a shirt. No. Okay, there he is. It's the last one last time, too. But I had like 10 seconds last time. So I think we're good. Just gonna go and do a little plan up there, but we're gonna get him. And we're good. There we go. Now, I remember there being another goal over by the McDonald's. Let's go there. Hop over a car. Nobody seems to care that we're going nuts in the street. It's the most lax place ever. Finally, Stacy has sent over a pupil. My fusion of ancient Japanese cooking techniques and modern foods has won him over. And now I will try to apply this thinking to your skating. That's great. You must learn some old skating techniques. We'll start with the no comply. Failure will bring disgrace to my name and restaurant. Your McDonald's? So this is real easy. You just do that five times. Good. You learn quickly. It wasn't that hard. Apply this technique to jump over an obstacle. Or I could just ollie, but okay. Or I could break my neck. That sounds like a good idea as well. Uh, this is harder than it. What do you th I'm jumping in the water. What do you think? There you go. That wasn't that hard. versus new will be delicious. No comply onto the bench. Manual and then flip trick out. That sounds ridiculous. I did not know comply. Whoops. It's a little annoying to do sometimes, because you gotta be holding up and then press A. Like that didn't count. That's really annoying. 
and I did a boneless. Alright, let's try again. Oh, I got it this time. There we go. We will fuse the boneless into modern skating, but first you must practice. I've already done a boneless. Remember, the boneless will give you extra height and distance. Because you don't have bones. Really easy. Normally, this wall would be almost impossible to jump over, but with a boneless, it's not really actually. Task. It's actually really easy to jump over. Oh, see, I didn't even do it anyway. This is harder than it looks, apparently. There we go. This will be the ultimate fusion of new and old. This guy's really about the new and old. Of the lip of this quarter pipe. This should give you enough air to do a huge vertrick. Humongous. Accomplishing this will bring great honor to us. Get huge air. I mean, I did it. Apparently, it doesn't count. So. There we go. Peralta says we can borrow his old hippie bus and hit the road. Thank God for hippies. And here we come. All right, and we're done with Manhattan. Uh, next time, we're going to Tampa. One busted tail light. Violation. One bad bumper sticker. <laughs> Big mistake, you punks. It's not our car, man. We borrowed it. We like cops. Aren't you white meat supposed to be out fighting real crime? Like figuring out where that missing sprinkled donut went? Oh, that's real funny, smartass. Kiss your little roller skating contest goodbye. That is, unless your buddy here wants to do us some favors. <laughs> Alright, so that was Manhattan. On the next episode, we'll be doing Tampa. And that's all for now. See you next time.